if I head south on I-73, then right on 86, what's that yellow thing? Is that a rest stop? Oh wait, that's mustard on my computer screen. Jack, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, just cleaning mustard off my monitor. I guess that's better than ketchup on your keyboard. Oh, I'd never put ketchup on a hot dog. How hard did you bite the hot dog to propel mustard that far? No, what happened was I ran out of wheat germ and rice cakes. Am I missing something? Where did the mustard story go? It's taking the scenic route. See, I ordered more wheat germ and rice cakes to be delivered, but the supermarket substituted what they called a similar product. Mustard and hot dogs? And cheese doodles. I never eat cheese doodles. Why didn't you call and complain? Well, I did. They said it would take three weeks to straighten out the order. In that amount of time, I would have been delirious from hunger. Neighbors would have found me on the floor in a stupor with teeth marks on my pocket protector. So how did the mustard get on your screen? Well, I sat down for a working lunch. And you took a big bite and a dollop landed on your screen. No, on my lap. See, I tried to scoop it up quickly because, you know, mustard stained. But then I got an email message. And because I have a touch screen. Oh, oh no. And you couldn't miss a message because it might be from Terry. Which so, it was. Ooh. But here's the good news. Guess where I'm going to be in three days. I'm being sent to your company to see a demonstration of a prototype they're working on. You are only 500 miles from here. That's less than a two-hour flight. You can be here in a jet. Well, yes, but I don't fly. I'm going to drive. I figure it will take a quick 10 hours if I don't need to put gas in the car and take a comfort break. How oh, wonderful. Uh, well, will I get to see you? Maybe wave to you from my window in a socially distant way? I'd like to see all six foot two of you. Absolutely. And I'll even wear pants. <laughs> Why did they ask an accountant to see a prototype? Well, they didn't. They, they wanted the staff attorney to go, but he was caught using the office computer for off-track betting. I thought all the racetracks were closed. They are. He was running fantasy horse races with the R&D team. Management caught him trying to collect his winnings, and he was canned. They said they needed to send an honest man but they couldn't find any in the legal department. So they're sending you, yay. Your company wants a sole source contract for the new prototype. Aren't we developing that prototype for long distance communication? Yep. So you're traveling 500 miles to see in person a product designed for long distance communication. Yeah, it's sort of ironic, huh? What are they going to telecommunicate? Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. Oh, I love Don Amici. Actually, that was Alexander Graham Bell. Is there a difference? What time is the demonstration? Three in the afternoon, and that's the best news. If I hit the road at 1.30 in the morning, I can arrive at your office building at 11.30. We could meet for lunch. This is so exciting. I'll meet you in the parking lot and, and wear your chic accountant sunglasses so I will know you behind the mask. Is there a carryout place near the office? Even better. We're now allowed to eat at sidewalk cafes for lunch. Ooh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mm, depends on what you think I'm thinking. Can you leave <laughs> Louise and baby June home alone for an hour? Sure, if I want my house to look like Vesuvius just erupted. Oh, well, maybe this isn't a good idea. Hmm. It's a great idea. I'll get one of my sisters to put on her mask and watch him. I didn't know you had sisters. Three. Triplets. The first one out was named Shirley. And the others? Goodness and Mercy. Shirley, Goodness and Mercy. Isn't that like from the Bible or something? My mother's a minister. She couldn't help it. What did your father say about it? He's an auto mechanic. He was lobbying for Manny, Moe, and Jack. 
Well, you got off light with Inez. Oh, that's what comes from being the youngest. Nobody pays attention to you. Which sister do your daughters prefer? They usually beg for mercy. So what's the cafe like? Good food, inexpensive, not a cheese doodle in sight. It's called the Tattered Tartan. Oh, Scottish. Italian. They even have a gypsy violinist. They used to have a gypsy bassoonist, but she couldn't play with her mask on. Well, reserve a table for two. Won't perfect friend be jealous? She can get her own table. You do have a devilish streak. My mother, the minister, will be pleased. I can't wait to see you. I know, Jack. Thank you.